they come across some interesting creatures on planet Earth when they get here, and uh, and they say, okay, well, we need to we need to get help. We need to get a low, much more gold out of the ground than we're getting right now, because based on what the Sumerian tablets and the translations thereof tell us, there was only a small number of these these Anunnaki that arrived on planet Earth, and it wasn't enough to get the gold out of the ground. I guess what I'm trying, what I'm, what I'm confused about is, were there two different beings? Were there two different races, or was it all the same species that came here? Well, in the beginning, I guess it was it was one species. The Anunnaki would be one species, and uh, and this is still the big the big question. You know, where do the different race groups on planet Earth come from? And that question hasn't been answered. It's something that we need to deal with. It's a very important problem that we need to get on top of. How do the different race groups fit and you know suddenly come out of this 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 uh, this picture? So it seems that there was a lot more cloning and manipulation that happened, you know. And this whole story that you know white people are white because they live further away from the equator, and black people are black because they live more in the sun. I, that that's just rubbish, you know. It just it doesn't wash with me. You know? It doesn't make very no, much sense. Make now, sense. throughout history, though, we've had things like the Minotaur and a lot of these. Uh, I mean, even Bigfoot. You've got all these anomalies everywhere. Where these remnants of their genetically of their genetic manipulation, um, you know, half reptiles, half human type entities, etc. All their experiments. Yeah, it certainly seems like it. You know, I'm not sure how far your your audience goes, but uh, it's important to to tap into every bit of information uh, when you do research. And I believe that you, as, as a researcher and a scientist in, in a world that we live in today, you've got to be open to everything, every area and every possible bit of information you get. What fascinates me on this planet is the diverse, many different races we have here. Is it because of environment and locale or... Are these all, I've always thought about this. Uh, the more we look at, at the different race groups on planet Earth, you know, we call ourselves the human race, but we're not one race. We're distinctly several different race groups. 